If you're a data recovery technician, you know the struggles of dealing with a broken RAID array or a computer that refuses to boot up. When this happens, critical business data or priceless personal files can suddenly seem gone for good. That's exactly why we have been trying out something that can make all the difference. This is the Stellar Data Recovery Software. It's built to handle these exact situations and give you a reliable way to get your data back from RAID 0, 5 and 6 and hybrid RAID arrays. In this video, we'll walk you through how Stellar can help you recover your valuable files in just minutes so you can breathe easy again. To begin, let's get familiar with the software's interface. When you first launch the software, you're greeted with a clean and straightforward screen titled Select What to Recover. This is the starting point of any recovery process. You have clear options to choose from, such as recovering everything, or you can narrow your search to specific categories like documents, folders, and emails, or multimedia files. This initial choice helps make the scanning process faster and more efficient by telling the software what kind of file signatures to look for. After you select what you want to recover and click Next, you are taken to the Recover From screen. This is where you tell the software where to look for your lost data. You'll see a list of all connected drives and partitions. You can also choose common locations like the desktop or My Documents. More importantly, this screen is the gateway to the software's advanced features. You'll find options like Can't Find Drive for recovering lost partitions. And the two features we will focus on recover from disk image, and the powerful RAID recovery option. The design guides you logically from the what to the where, which makes a complex process feel manageable from the very start. Now that we understand the layout, let's talk about the actual process of recovering data. Once you've selected the location you want to scan, the software gives you two primary methods for the search a quick scan and a deep scan. A quick scan is the faster option. It works by reading the drive's file system to find references to deleted files. This is usually effective for recently deleted files from a healthy drive. However, for more severe data loss, such as a formatted drive or a corrupted partition where the file system itself is damaged, you'll need the deep scan. This is a much more thorough sector-by-sector -sector scan of the entire drive. It doesn't rely on the file system. Instead, it looks for the unique digital signatures or headers that identify specific file types. It might take longer, but it dramatically increases the chances of finding files in complex situations. Once the scan is complete, you can preview the found files to verify they are intact before you commit to recovering them. Moving on to a more critical scenario, what happens when a computer crashes and won't start up at all? This is where the ability to recover from a non-booting PC comes in. This feature allows you to create a bootable USB recovery drive. The process requires a second working computer with the Stellar software installed. You'll connect a blank USB drive to the working PC and use the Create Recovery Drive utility within the software. This utility copies a self-contained bootable version of the Stellar Recovery environment onto the USB stick. You then take this newly created bootable USB and plug it into the crashed computer. You'll need to enter the computer's BIOS or UEFI settings during startup, which is usually done by pressing a key like F2, F12, or Delete, and change the boot order so the computer starts from the USB drive instead of its internal hard drive. When it boots from the USB, the Stellar Data Recovery software will launch automatically. From there, you can scan the computer's internal drive, preview your files, and save them to a separate external hard drive. Another professional feature that is crucial for safe data recovery is creating a disk image. This is especially important when you suspect a hard drive is physically failing or has bad sectors. Continuously scanning a failing drive can cause more damage and lead to permanent data loss. The Create Image feature avoids this risk. 
It performs a single careful read of the entire drive and creates an exact sector-by-sector -sector copy of it as a single stable image file. Once you have this image file saved to a healthy drive, you can put the original failing drive aside. You then use the Recover from Disk Image option within the software. It will load this image file and treat it as a virtual drive. You can then perform quick or deep scans on this safe image, preview your files, and recover your data without ever having to stress the original fragile hardware again. This non-destructive approach is a core principle of professional data recovery. This brings us to the main event, RAID recovery. RAID arrays are complex systems, but the software simplifies their recovery. The first and most important step is to carefully remove all the member drives from the RAID enclosure, labeling each one with its original position, and then connect them all to a single working PC. Once you launch the software and select RAID recovery, the virtual reconstruction begins. The software needs to know the original RAID parameters to rebuild the array virtually. This includes the RAID level, the order of the disks, and the block size. When you're trying to recover data from a RAID setup, you usually have two options, automatic detection or manual configuration. The automatic option tries to figure out the RAID settings on its own, but in many cases you'll need to do it manually to get the best results. In manual mode, you'll have to define some important RAID parameters yourself, like the start sectors, parity order, and parity repetition. To begin, select at least four disks that were part of your RAID system. After that, switch to the manual configuration option and enter your customized settings. Once you're done, press the Build RAID button. Next, you'll see the RAID you just built listed among the partitions. From there, go to the Show Volume List section. Here, you'll get the choice to either reconstruct your RAID or load a previously reconstructed RAID. After the RAID is successfully constructed, it will appear in your drive list just like a normal hard drive. At this point, you can scan it and start recovering your files as if you were working with a regular disk. Finally, let's touch on a highly advanced feature for unique situations. Sometimes, you might need to recover a file with a rare or proprietary extension that the software doesn't recognize by default. The Add New File Type feature allows you to teach the software how to find these files. You navigate to the advanced settings and choose to add a new file type. The easiest method is to provide the software with at least 10 sample files of the type you want to recover. The software analyzes these samples, automatically identifies their unique digital signature or header, and adds it to its library. From then on, it will be able to find and recover that specific file type during a deep scan. Stellar Data Recovery is an exceptionally powerful tool that successfully makes complex, professional-grade recovery tasks accessible. Its strength lies in its ability to handle severe data loss, scenarios like RAID failure, and unbootable systems with a guided, user-friendly approach. While the problems it solves are highly technical, the process is designed to be manageable. For IT professionals and serious tech enthusiasts who need a reliable solution for critical data recovery, this software is a necessary and valuable tool. Put your hands on Stellar and share your experience with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.